Hey everybody, it's Brooke with The Buttered Home and welcome to my outdoor messy kitchen. Y'all, it is National Pork Month and we are kicking off all things tailgating. We have jumped right on the bandwagon with this fantastic smash burger craze for the football games this year. And we're gonna highlight some of the best recipes that we know of that include pork. Now, how you might ask that pork got on your fork? Well, it came from a farmer. And we're proud to represent all of our Alabama pork producers here in the great state of Alabama with this delicious pork smash burgers recipe. Y'all, you will want this one and you will want probably about four or five of them. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to make them. Okay, so the first thing we've done ahead of time is we have cooked all of our bacon and let it cool completely. And then you can just chop it into real fine pieces with a knife like this one, or you can run it through a food processor, just whatever is easiest for you. Now we have a whole yellow or Vidalia sweet onion that we're about to thin slice with our mandolin. And I have to, mention this because this is probably the most important thing make sure when you're using a mandolin slicer that you always use the guard that comes with it it's real important to use that guard uh, many people may or may not have lost the tip of a finger not using a guard so i'm setting this to one because i want them real thin And we just give them a real quick slice, just like that, nice and thin. I'm gonna set my big pieces to the side and throw these on a plate. One of the most important things is to make sure that you have everything prepped and close by <laughs> because these smash burgers, they cook up really, really fast. So we wanna make sure that we have everything prepped beforehand and ready to go. Look at those beautiful sliced onions. Okay, so we start off with two pounds of ground pork. We like to keep it cold right up until we mix it uh, because it's kinda of hard to work with <laughs> uh, if it's at room temperature. So now we have a fourth of a cup of this garlic southern flavor. You can use any other type of garlic type seasoning that you like. You just want to make sure that it has some salt in it. Uh, this has plenty of salt in it, so we don't need to add any extra. And we're just working that in a little at a time into the pork mixture. All right, so we take the pork balls out and we do those about a fourth of a cup portion size. Yep, that fits good in that fourth of a cup. And then we just mold that and roll it into a ball. And we're going to get all of our patties rolled up. Now, one thing you wanna remember, this is a double decker pork burger. So you're gonna need two of these balls per burger, or more. <laughs> okay, now that you have all of your pork patties rolled out, we're going to roll each one in those reserved bacon bits. Now we like using real bacon for this, but you can use the pre-bought bacon bits. Also, we recommend a patty ball size of about a fourth of a cup, but you can make them slightly bigger or slightly smaller, whatever suits your taste. Just know that we're gonna press them real thin. So the bigger you make them, the bigger they're gonna be when they press and spread. One thing we do want to mention as well is 
If you do make them bigger or smaller, just make sure that you are consistent with your size because this is a double patty burger. You want your patties to match. Okay, so with our heat on our flat top over medium to high, we recommend that you do these about two to three at a time. This is going to happen fast, so you want to make sure that you're good and ready. Now we'll allow these to sit here just a minute, just until the fat starts to render a bit before we smash them. So you'll notice we have two large and two small, but they're all equally proportioned to one another so that they'll match up and sit right on your bun. Now we take a clean piece of parchment paper and cover our pork, our ground pork balls, and we smash them nice and thin. Carefully lift it up and do its mate. And this is why you only want to do two to three total burgers at a time. Because just as fast as you get them pressed out, you'll be dressing them and turning them over. Now on one of the patties, you're gonna to wanna to dress with your sliced onions. And just as fast as you get them sli the sliced onions on there, you wanna take them up and flip them over. And look at that beautiful crispy crust. Now we'll take our sliced sharp cheddar or Colby Jack cheese or your cheese of choice and dress the naked one. We'll let those onions cook just a bit. Your total cook time on each side is about a minute. And if you wanted to just be sure, you can always use your meat thermometer and check and make sure that your pork patties reach an internal temperature of 160 degrees. Ground pork needs to be cooked a little hotter than pork loin. Pork loin is perfectly safe and done at about 145. Ground pork at about 160. Look, would you just look at that. Now we just let that cheese melt just a bit. Then we'll take them up and we'll put them on our platter. Serve them up with some beautiful buns and have a wonderful and delicious pork tailgate. So you see, it happens in a flash. You can cook them up made to order at your next tailgate. These things can, they're so versatile and they're so delicious. So let's give it a taste. I already know how it's gonna taste, but we're gonna taste it anyway. Mmm. Oh my goodness. I'm probably going to need two napkins for that. It's so juicy and so good. Now, we poured on the condiments to this because we love that combination of the smoky pork, not to mention it being dressed with those bacon pieces. It just doesn't get any better. Those onions are cooked perfectly. They're slightly caramelized. As a matter of fact, if you wanted them cooked just a little bit more, you can always caramelize them over to the side while you're doing the cooking process. Absolutely fantastic. Seasoning is not too much. Simple is the best thing ever. All those flavors really, really let the pork shine in this. So I challenge you to put some pork on your fork and support our Alabama pork producers and give these pork smash burgers a try. As usual, all of our recipes like this one can be found at thebutteredhome.com. We'd love it if you gave us a visit over there. Also, if you want all of our videos in one convenient place, head over to YouTube, search for The Buttered Home. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ding the bell so that you can be notified when we drop new videos like this one. Also, make sure you're following us on all of our social channels. We have a real good time 
just like we are out here tonight, getting ready with all of our family and friends to watch some football. And I always call this a home gate. <laughs> Big D and I love to stay at home and tailgate, and these pork smash burgers are the perfect way to do that and to support a local farmer. If you want locally sourced in Alabama pork for your fork too, head over to sweetgrownalabama.org where you can find a pork farmer near you and get your fresh as best ground pork options for your pork smash burgers too. Make sure for other great recipes, you check at thebutteredhome.com and at pork.org with all the tips and tricks that you need for cooking your pork any way that you want. From all of us here at our home tailgate at the Buttered Home to Your Home, we sure love y'all. Bye.